what's going on y'all it's your girl lazy i and i am back i know it's been some time it's been some time i actually haven't sat down to film in about four weeks and i know my video my last video is like three weeks old but i can explain um this is gonna be a long video this is a life update so y'all already know how my life updates go how my chit chit chat and get ready try new products go so we got a lot to talk about lazy i got a lot of tea to spill just to get y'all caught up on the process and why I've been gone, where I've been at. So, I actually put on lotion this time, y'all. So, disclaimer, excuse these nails. We gonna talk about it. Um, let me just put on some chapstick to start with. Um, what is this? This is, y'all know, this is the Burt's Bees overnight treatment that I be using. And I be trying to tell y'all, with these braces, you better, like, just take stock out. And, um, chapstick, lip gloss, exfoliant, all that. Just, just do it. Um, today is actually a month and a day. Yeah, a month and a day because today is June. No, a month and two days. Today is June 3rd. This video is going up today. Okay. It's going up today. So, um, we have some stuff we need to try. I have a gang of new products. Y'all know I did that Sephora haul and never came back and like used the stuff. So here we are. Mm -hmm. Excuse the hair. Um, it's wash day. Anyone with natural hair knows how that goes. That means uh, I'm going to spend probably two hours of my life today washing my hair, deep conditioning, styling my hair, drying my hair the rest of the day after. So yeah, um, as y'all can see, my skin is still doing pretty, pretty decent. Um, if my voice sounds a little weird, please excuse that. I got like this allergy, summer cold, spring cold kind of situation going on. I'm not too sure exactly what it is. Um, I'm feeling a lot better though. So that's always a plus. Um, this is just my toner. Y'all know this is the Mario Badescu toner mixed in with the cream and cocoa um, toner. That's why it has like that white little look to it. As far as my background, I know y'all looking over here like all we see is window. Um, this is my last video with this setup. Um, that's part of the reason I've been going. I am moving. I actually moved Wednesday. Today is Monday. So yeah um that has been taking up a lot of my time moving the garden which i will get into all in a good way though like none of this is like oh my gosh my life sucks like no none of that is the case it's just like i've literally been adulting like this is what it is to adult sometimes stuff just gets kind of busy but we made it we definitely made it y'all can see i have like a little tan situation going on because i have been in the sun working in the garden um some of y'all know some y'all don't know oh this was the minimo deja vu acne serum it's almost gone i'm trying to use it up um some of y'all know let me slow down i'm like talking fast you know when you haven't recorded in a while you be like oh okay so some of y'all know my best friend Britt, um, her Instagram handle is B underscore sensational. I have that link down below. I had it linked in my last video, but I'll link it again. Um, she actually runs an urban garden in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I'm like her administrator, assistant, helping her, you know, live the dream. So, um, she has a Facebook page called the, um, Melanin Urban Gardener. I will have that link down below and the same name for her Instagram for the garden page. So y'all can see what we be doing, what we really be doing. So I'll have all her stuff linked down below. Y'all know y'all can always follow me on my Instagram when I'm not on the YT at underscore underscore about minds. Just take about and take the A off. There you go. My Snapchat, Prue Biatch. We're not going to talk about the name. But everything, all my best friend information and all my information will be down below so y'all can keep up with us because life gets a little hectic, okay? So, um, I'm not going to do too much skincare today because I really, this is the start of the show, which is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this. I bought the mini because I just, 
thirty dollars and for it to not work potentially just couldn't do it sis but yeah um we've been working in the garden so my best friend's been running her garden and y'all know my best friend's name is Brittany, but we call her brit hey brit and um she's been running the garden now for about four years but this is the second year it's been like a public thing like we we did our second annual oh this is nice oh yeah oh it's tacky too so like the foundation oh okay okay um so yeah so we did our second annual event which is basically where everyone um obviously by invite not everyone um you get to come in and see the garden and you help plant like you actually learn how to plant stuff properly because like you would not plant cabbage the same way you would plant a pepper and you would not plant a tomato the same way you would plant like basil so we get to educate people on how to do it um Britt educates me that's like her thing that's like her calling because since I don't know nothing about none of that but since I've been working um side by side with her I've learned a lot about the garden um the type of fertilizers because you don't use the same fertilizer for stuff um some of them be funky you know but it works um so that's like the event teach you how to plant what to use how to do things it's a real good insight on seeing where your food comes from and also like how much we spend on the plants and the seeds versus how much you would spend like in the store so that's the super duper cool thing 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 i'm telling y'all talking with these braces is like a whole struggle but yeah it's a super cool thing you get to come out um we do two bonfires because her the garden is huge so there's a bonfire in the back part of the garden and then there's a bonfire in the front um gazebo music food just like a really chill atmosphere so it's like you work hard and then we literally play hard and chill out um that evening me a little bit closer this is mac pro longwear paint pot in lang low and i'm gonna use this to prime my eyes y'all know i do all my priming up front but yeah it's really good we had a huge turnout this year it went really really well um, we actually did like a kind of two day event because usually we literally only do Saturday, but we did Saturday and Sunday, which was really nice. Um, a lot of support from the community and our friends. Um, thank everybody who came out, who's been supporting the page. Like I said, I'll have everything linked down below so y'all can check it out. Please go check out the page, like, share, help us out. Um, it's not too many black women doing urban gardens doing gardening period so we're trying to revolutionary um revolutionize maybe use the word some things and break some standards and overall help the community um along the way so yeah hopefully this summer we can get some stuff off the ground as far as merch that's kind of something i really want to push because we have this really cute logo now so we'll see but yeah that's where i've been <laughs> that's why like my neck and my chest are like two different colors because girl i don't got a tan it's been some hot days here in um wisconsin and illinois so yeah we basically work a nine nine to five through monday through friday saturdays and sundays are dedicated to the garden so that's kind of why not saying we don't have time but like we have to get everything in the ground Come on, camera. Don't play me. Don't play me, camera. There we go. I said, um, that's kind of why you got to get things in the ground at a certain time. And that's why I've been so MIA. And secondly, I've been so MIA because I'm moving. After 11 long, dreadful, expensive years in the state of Illinois, I am finally moving back to my home state, Wisconsin, um, specifically my home city. Really not actually my home city. My home city where I was born and raised is Milwaukee, but I am moving to the suburbs. Um, is there a suburb known as West Allis? Uh, if you've ever been up here and been to like State Fair, is that um, that area? Or if you're into baseball, that would be like where the Brewer Stadium is or whatever. So... I'm super geeked. I know a lot of people want to know 
the process. I'm just looking for a brush, y'all. You know, I ain't got my glasses on. Shorty can't see. I'm just gonna grab these Jeffree Star brushes. Um, a lot of people want to know the process. So, I've been having it in my mind to move back out. Since I moved back last year in September for health reasons, my mom was like, uh-uh. You'll need to come back home until you get right. So, um, I've been right for a while, but stacking money and like really taking your time to see where you want to move. So this has been on my mind probably since like December. And this is the palette we're using today. This is the Makeup Revolution. Where they're called Revolution now? Girl, I don't know what they call. I think it's just... No, oh, this one say Makeup Revolution, but they known as Revolution now. Um, This is Tammy's palette. Oh my gosh, I love Tammy here on YT. She is so cute to me. Her accent is everything, but this is her collab. So, um, let me like not blind y'all. But yeah, these are the colors. So, we're going to try to do something sensational today. Maybe like a sunrise, sunset kind of vibes. But yeah, so I had that on my mind that I wanted to move back to my city Basically, to really um, give back to the community. Let's see what this is looking like. Give back to the community. Um, I always wanted to. I never wanted to move out of Milwaukee. Um, that wasn't my decision. I was a child. I had just graduated from middle school. And my dad landed a better career opportunity down here. So, obviously, we moved. That was back in 2008, right before, like, the economy kind of crashed or whatever and then I've been here ever since I went to college here I didn't go off to college y'all know I hate people so um the easy choice was obviously to stay here save some money there's nothing wrong with going to a community college um for especially for like your associates and stuff like that so yeah um so I've been wanting to get back my best friend is there obviously when she came back from Michigan um, I've definitely been trying to push to get back there and it's just more comfortable like I know I know the area know people I have family up there so it's super duper cool it's not too far from my parents it's like 35 minutes 40 at the most so it's it's I just thought oh yeah we got some fallout going on here so I was just like it's a good move um I did take my time about really sawing out a good place to lay my head that's very important um as a single woman it's very important to make sure you're in a safe neighborhood that is super duper duper important so a safe neighborhood is key honey and then like with me being 25 a lot of stuff becomes more important to you like who's your neighbors what's the crime rate like um, can I walk my dog? <laughs> What's the crime light at two in the morning? Like I tell people, I said, any neighborhood can look great at 9 a.m. on a Monday morning. What does that neighborhood look like, pardon me, 2 a.m. on a Friday or a Saturday? You know, when people are out partying and such. So, yeah. So, the two apps I use to help narrow down... Um, places to look at was Trulia and Hot Pads, but I end up finding my specific place on Trulia. I like Trulia better because you can customize it better and it had more listings. It's like the stuff I would have been seeing on Trulia, I would get on Hot Pads and then be like a few days after. So Trulia, if I was to recommend one, Trulia is the best way to house hunt. Um, I didn't want to live in a complex, no shade or anything. I just don't like people above me, beneath me, all around me. I just don't like that. Like, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. But for me personally, I'm not spending the kind of money that I'm spending to do that. Um, so I opted for, oh yeah, I went in with this orange. What color, what color is this girl? middle row third one in trini maybe it's back it's i don't know if it's this is weird the orange color so yeah i opted for a duplex 
which is basically where they take a house and they split it in half. So mine is split horizontally. I have the top um, top level and then there's someone beneath me, just one person. So that was so much better for me. I'm gonna go in with this this yellow right here to see, see what we working with. So yeah, I opted for that. I feel better that way. Um, no, how does it go? Let's see. So it's a ton of fallout, that's for sure. But they may that might be because it's like a pressed pigment, maybe. I don't know. We will see. Like the colors definitely are pretty, but you do like Sean's world say, I'll have her video linked down below because she just did a look with this palette as well. You have to build these colors up. Like once you build them up, they're pretty, and you can see like all that dust. Um, they're pretty, but they take some work job. But yeah, so I opted for a duplex. Like I said, I just explained it's like a house split in half. I have the top half. Um, I don't like living on the bottom or ground levels or basement um basement condos and stuff like that. It's not for me. But yeah, so you basically get like your own little house and everything. Um, I opted for a two bedroom, one bathroom, two bedrooms because I wanted a beauty room. So I'm actually gonna have a beauty room now where I'll have a full setup with a backdrop and um, more room for lighting so the quality will be better so you guys can get ready for that that will definitely be coming soon and then of course my bedroom i have like a sitting room not like a full-blown living room which is cool for me i didn't really want a full-blown living room i'm like a hipster at heart so i kind of like that whole like chill boho chic vibe where you do like the pillows and the blankets and the bean bags and stuff like that i haven't decided if i'm gonna do like a house tour apartment tour whatever you want to call it i'm not really into y'all know i'm not into people in my business like that if anything for sure i'm gonna do a beauty room tour but that's probably it so yeah that will be coming up but yeah um it took me about two to three months to find a place and then um once i found it i went and visited and seen it in person and i actually went and got an application i got the application that day i put in for it that was like on um thursday by monday they had approved me for it turned in my security deposit and then um here we are all that's left to pay is like the rent for June and um there we have it really excited about it um I'm really big on starting fresh Ooh, child it's a lot of fallout we're gonna go back with the orange and try to build the orange back up it's work as y'all can see it's work and I'm not editing 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 out any of the blending because I think on YouTube, there's so much like speeding through and chopping and cutting. Y'all need to see for real, for real, how long it's going to take you to achieve this look. And that's what my chit chat sit downs are about. So you can see how stuff performs and things like that. So now we have a little bit more of the orange again. I'm going to go like try to really softly go around the edges because I do want like that little gradient look don't mind how the, i don't know why these brushes look like this like they're morphe brushes you already know but yeah so that's as far as moving so i've kind of been living in two states the past month and a half which is cool like i've actually enjoyed it um a lot of people who don't know me or you personally know me i know i just went um kind of been healing from a recent not too recent but recent enough breakup so i've been like gardening and healing and someone was like that sounds like some dj Khaled would say i was like but it's so serious like that's what i've been doing my mom has always taught me to love you learn how to be with just you um when you break up with somebody it's not the end of the world even though it may feel like it because i can be super dramatic and be like oh my gosh my life is falling apart because that's so me when i'm not on camera like 
really that's who lazy eye is especially when it comes to like relationships and like at my age of 25 there's so many people getting married or already married and having kids and it's so easy to get caught up in like why am i not married why don't i have kids like what, like you not intentionally start trying to compare your life but it starts to happen just like social media is terrible like because no one posts no one really posts their failures they only post their success so you see the weddings and the graduations and people opening their own business and going on dates with their boyfriend or their girlfriend you don't see well unless it's like a messy situation you don't really see like the breakups you don't see like um you know the lies that were told if lies were told i'm not you know i'm just speaking in general um you don't really get to see that you don't get to see um all the jobs they applied for and didn't get you just see the one job that they got so um it's very easy to get sucked into that and you just kind of have to stay in your own lane i'm sorry y'all i had to wipe some of that off because whoo there's literally so much fallout. I do like the color though. It's still a little, it's a little patchy. Like I'm gonna try to fix the patchiness. But yeah, so you get, you can get one in with a different brush. It's stained blue, but it's not blue. So I'm gonna go back in with the yellow. This yellow is giving me quite a time i don't know if it's because i'm not skilled or what probably not skilled but yeah so you can get sucked into like comparing your life to others and in reality like you can post what you want to post on social media a lot of like i know people personally that post nothing but positive things on their social media in real life i know them in real life and i know they're like going through the gigs they're like so unhappy depressed and all other types of stuff not like talking about them or like bashing them but that just goes to show you people will paint a picture so my advice has always been and what my mom has always taught me hello mom i know you're watching um it's just to stay in your own lane love you learn to love you learn to be by yourself go to the movies by yourself go shopping by yourself love you love your company because when you get to that point <coughs> excuse me a little dusty when you get to that point, <coughs> okay, I'm back, y'all. Whew, had a whole coughing attack off the camera. But I'm back. I didn't do anything extra. But yeah, like I was saying, when you get to that point where you truly love yourself, you don't need, not to say you don't need anyone, but you're comfortable with it being just you, that's peace. And I wasn't always at that point, to be honest. But I'm at that point now. Like, my peace is so important. It's not even funny. It's really not, not even funny. Like, I will not argue with nobody. I will not turn up on nobody. Rarely do I turn up. Rarely will I entertain, <clears throat> excuse me, a debate. Because, like, my peace is so important. And that's not to say, like... I don't care or the person I was with I don't care about him that's not true I mean you don't go from <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna go in really quickly with this red right here um that's not to say I don't care about him you don't go from loving somebody to like not loving them that's not if you really love them that's not how any of this works still got love for him still care about him still will always wish him the best um but it's just at the point where i i got back to me i got back to putting brie lazy eye however you know me back to being first i mean a lot of time we spend so much time invested and not to say being invested is a bad thing i'm one of those people it's all or nothing with me you're gonna get a hundred percent or you're gonna get zero so Trust me, I know about investing time and all of that. Um, you get so invested in stuff, it takes away from other stuff. So, 
I'm at the point where I'm just starting over. Not even starting over. This is a new chapter. That's how I'm looking at it. Because that's what it is. It's a new career. It's moving to the state I've been wanting to move back for so long. And I get to be super close with my best friend. It's no longer like, oh, I'll meet you up there in an hour. Or I'll be there in an hour. It's like, oh, no, girl. I'll be there in like 10 minutes. I purposely picked the place. That's like 10 minutes from my best friend. And I can say one thing about my best friend, Britt, is that she's always been there. And she's not a judgmental type person. She'll tell you the truth for sure. But she's not going to judge you for making a not so great decision. Or if you overextended yourself in a relationship and did something that most people wouldn't, she's not the type to judge. she just be like, you know, like you did that because you're this kind of person. You did it out of the kindness of your heart. And it's okay. Like sometimes we do stuff that we shouldn't. Sometimes we do stuff that other people don't agree with. I've always been the type that's done, <clears throat> done stuff for people that people normally wouldn't do. I'm on one of those people. My dad, definitely get this from my dad. When it comes to money, I don't really care about money. I don't care about spending it. Because my whole motto is like, for the people you love, for the people I love, there's nothing they can't have. If it's within reach, you definitely can have it, especially if I care and love you. So that definitely was like the big case <clears throat> with my last relationship. And I wouldn't, reg I don't regret none of it. I wouldn't take it back. If I had to do it all again, I would. And like I said, it's not like I hate him or anything. I mean, you will go, don't get me wrong. You will go through, <clears throat> I think for women going through a breakup, you do go through like these different stages. Like first you're like really heartbroken, really sad. And then you start listening to like Queen Nyjah LMA, Layton Green, Anne Marie, Nicki Minaj, and you like, hold on, he had me messed up. You go through like this angry stage, and then when it's all said and done, after burning some sage, reading some daily devotional, you are healed. <laughs> so that's just life. Life is beautiful because relationships can teach you so much about yourself and so much about life. Like, especially my my ex that I, my most recent ex, he taught me a lot, especially about balance and like being chill because I'm very high strung and like, I'll be like, oh, that was so gross. I'm so sorry, y'all. I told you I got like this allergy thing going on. But yeah, he taught me, taught me a lot. And he'll always have my support from a distance. Um, you got to protect yourself. So you can talk and be cool. But put some boundaries. Don't let, you know, don't overextend yourself. But yeah, so that's just that. So we talked about moving. We talked about the garden. What else has been going on? Oh, let's see here. Oh, on the YT, it's been so much drama. Drama that I just, ugh, I don't know. Everybody feels the way they want to feel about the drama with Jeffree Star and Tati Westbrook and James Charles. I'm not a fan of James Charles, but this was long before this recent issue of James. You know, James has built his career off of lies and if you don't agree that's fine um just keep it cute in the comments i'm not a fan of james charles did i buy his palette sure did oh let me not sniff like that again um i sure did buy his palette because it's one of the better palettes morphe has put out is that even spot is oh nah like I said, this is like Sean said on Sean's World. I'm going to post her video, um, put her link down below. It's beautiful. This palette is beautiful once you like, you build it up. Like it's gorgeous for sure. 
But ooh, child, don't be in no rush trying to use this palette. You gonna be upset, okay? But yeah, um, geez, what? Oh, James Charles, yes. Not a fan, haven't been a fan. He's not very genuine to me. Like, I gave him a chance. I was, like, subscribed to his channel, watching his videos. And I was just like, something is so off about him that comes off so fake. And plus, he talks really fast. And I just, I'd be mean like a translator or something. I really do. I'd be mean like a translator to understand what James be talking about. Um, a lot of people have a problem with black people who choose to choose to support Jeffree Star. And here's my whole thing. Um, across the board, from what I have seen, I have seen every race say, <clears throat> excuse me, especially a lot of these big YouTubers, actresses, actors, comedians, they've said and done some racist stuff. Um... I feel like if a person apologized for it and they're no longer saying or doing those things, move on. We're not here to judge. That's not our job. So, yeah, of course, Jeffree Star is going to get my coins. He has some of the best products on the market. And that's just how it's going to be. But in the same breath, I can say Juvia's Place is going to get my coins because they have some of the best products on the market. So, um, this whole cancel culture and... People trying to talk about who you should support, who you shouldn't support. Have that same energy across the board. <clears throat> if you're not going to support someone because they're racist or you think they're racist or they discriminate, have that same energy with, let's say, Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret discriminates against um, the lesbian, gay, bi, transsexual, queer community. So you against racist people and who discriminate but you got on victoria's secret underwear how does that work sis like my whole thing is be consistent be consistent across the board and then i don't have a problem but what i've noticed is people like to pick and choose if you're not gonna support one don't support any of them that's just my little rant my little soapbox but i'm moving on um this is revolution make a revolution whatever they're calling this is the cut crease canvas and i have it in the shade create and basically this is like to help you like to carve out some space so it's gonna be kind of hard i'm just honest a lot of pro it is a lot of product that comes off on the brush so Keep that in mind. <clears throat> oh, it definitely went too high. It's probably a little too high, but I guess we're going to do a dramatic look today. <laughs> and then I'm just going to do the other side. I realized that I did not do my eyebrows, which is so weird because y'all know I usually do my eyebrows first. Look at my face like something's off. Because what is this? Oh. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get it even now. I think I'm going to take like a small little brush here. Because it's just like, whatever you do on one side, you definitely, like, if you mess up on one side, you gotta mess up on the other side, so. 
that's what I'm trying to do. <clears throat> that's probably as close as we're going to get it. But basically, this is the Make Your Eyeshadows pop a little bit more. It was like five or six bucks. And I was like, okay. Um, In the Tammy palette, with the look I'm doing, there's not really a shimmer that I want to use at all. So, I'm going to go in with... This is not new either, even though they just launched some more of these. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner. They did just launch a metal line, but this is old. And I thought this would be kind of cute. Hopefully, hopefully it's kind of cute. In the chat, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna... It needs a base, so... <clears throat> We're going to, we're gonna end up using a shimmer. I guess we'll do this orangish looking one. So let's see. Cause it definitely needs a base. I think I don't have anywhere to be here, anywhere to be today, for real, for real. So this look is a little, <clears throat> it's looking a little rough. But you know, we can fix stuff. There's always hope. Like I said, you gotta hold out until you get some mascara or some lashes on. Then we can really see what you working with. I don't even know what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, the drama on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube has become such a toxic place at times. Depending on who you follow on YouTube, who you watch, it can be. Especially if you watch, like, a lot of drama channels and things like that. Um, Like I said, like, if, you, if you're part of the cancel culture and you're going to cancel somebody... Just make sure you cancel that same type of behavior across the board. Not just with certain people. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Um, I feel like everybody deserves second chances. Even sometimes a third chance. I don't know. I try to, the older I get, the more I try to be as forgiving as possible. Because when I fall short, I... Not that I do it intentionally or I'm like somebody always messing up. I want somebody to forgive me. So I just try to put that energy out there, y'all. Positive energy. That's all. Outside of that, braces. Let's get back to those, hunty. My braces. And I know a lot of people are like, you haven't done a braces video, no vlog, no nothing. Let me give y'all the real tea on that. <clears throat> So, since, like, braces have become such a, like, take my camera and I'm going to vlog the whole process kind of thing, they've ruined it. The people before me have kind of ruined it. Um, Because dental offices don't even allow you to record anymore. They are, like, not having it. They're, like, fed up. Fed up. So, I would have, but, girl, no. No. That's kind of cute. They're not having it. So we're going to leave the eyes alone for now. And I guess get into these eyebrows. Because I totally neglected them. But yeah. Um, dental offices are not having it. And when I say they are not having it. Excuse me. They are not having it. Like when you walk in. It's a. In big bow letters. Uh-uh, ain't no recording. Ain't no recording. They say no recording. Real big and bold. They are not having it, sis. But I am going to come in and do, use my trusty benefit brow contour. Come on, pro. And this is the one with the different ones. So I always start out with the darkest one. Just 
twist it up. But yeah, they're not having it. So my whole thing, I'm gonna come in and do a, um a little like what you'll need for braces, what to expect, like price wise. Um, things to look for with insurance, care credit, and then like things you'll need and what to expect like your first, first few days. Um, the first day I got my braces, it was not, I was not in pain or anything like that. I was perfectly, perfectly fine. But that second day after getting my braces, oh my gosh, my teeth hurt so bad so bad which is crazy because when you get your braces put on they don't hurt they don't hurt at all but that second day my mouth was not having it and i had to use so much wax because um there was like just a lot of the wire was poking me the first couple weeks and then now i don't have any wax on my teeth if you don't have braces or you never had braces probably like what are you talking about so there will be a whole video on that. It was pretty cool though. I'm excited. Anyone who's known me knows I've wanted braces for quite some time. And everyone's like, your teeth perfect. I don't understand. Like y'all saying my teeth perfect when I went to the dentist, they were like, yeah, you are moderate to severe. I had to get a tooth pulled, um, which was my last baby tooth. And then I also had to um, I have to get a tad installed, which is basically like a micro screw on the left side of my mouth. So yeah, it um, it ain't all sweet over here, shorty. <clears throat> but like I said, I'll do a whole video dedicated to that, and um, we'll go from there. So my brows are about as good as they're gonna get. <laughs> But I've really been in love with this Anastasia. What are they calling this? I don't even know. This is like their brow gel that they came out with. And I have it in the color Auburn. Because you know I dyed my hair, as y'all can see, looking like Chucky from the Rugrats. Especially because I have. But I wanted something that was like not super dark. But this brow gel is the truth is the truth like i love it and i'm just gonna take like my spoolie and like blend it in and i like like the other like a little bit of a different color it gives versus just like super brown Ooh, oh dear that's one thing you do have to be careful with when you put it on because it is super pigmented and you can ruin your eye look Oh, yeah. I don't know. We'll have to figure out a way to fix that. We'll see. Um, we'll figure it out. But, yeah, I really, really like this. Really, really like it. Um, Shin Shin, Shin Fab. I'll have her channel link down below. She did a review on this. Before I had even bought it, oh, I was so geek. Like, yes, yeah, so glad that I got this. But yeah, moving forward. Um, where are we at? So we are going to roll right into foundation. And this is the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation with SPF 15. I got mine in the color N80, which is known as Neutral Almond. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Um, I usually shoot for a neutral foundation or a golden foundation. With Bobbi Brown, the colors are a little weird. So, good luck with that. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Hopefully, hopefully, this is the right color, okay? We, we finna find out, so. Uh, looks a little dark, honey. Might be perfect though, because like I said, I've been in the sun. So, Oh, 
Oh, this looking kind of good, y'all. I'm definitely gonna need like more pumps. Bobby Brown has like a bougie pump, so it's not like a full pump, but yeah. Definitely use a brush so you can get the maximum coverage. Oh, camera, come on, don't play me. There we go. It is a little dark, but we can lighten that up with um our concealer. That's not a problem. Get your neck. Get all of your neck. All of it. Don't be walking around with your foundation stopping right here. Blend that in, girl. This big old forehead. I can't be the only one with. Like, look at all this forehead from here to here. I'm trying to tell you it's rough out here. It's pretty. It's definitely a little dark, so... <clears throat> Pardon me. As the summer goes on and as I get darker, this is going to be perfect, but for the winter, I will need to go back, which I, I usually have two shades in each foundation anyway. But I'm liking this. Mm-hmm, girl. So, yeah. Went ahead and did that. This is a Shop Miss A sponge. Probably the softest sponge I've ever used in life. And it's only a dollar fifty-five. Used to be a dollar, then they got super popular. And now they're a dollar fifty-five. But I love them. And I just like this to like smooth it because my face is a little little textured, you know, Mother Nature just passed, so that's expected. But yeah, so now we're gonna go in. This, I know y'all like that. It's not new. Actually, I went back and got the correct color in the Fenty Concealer. This is 345. I think I had 360 prior. So, go in with this. Oh, dear. This looks a little, it looks super golden. I'm a little scared. Lord, I'm scared. So, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. Okay, let's see. All right. Mm. Look at them eyes shining though. Them eyes with some work, but I do, I do like how it's looking. So what do y'all have planned for the summer? Summer is like, I don't know, summer be here like once a week here. <clears throat> so, like, I'm trying to do like festivals this summer, brunches and lunches, museum. Like, just get out and like enjoy life. Like, that's my whole thing. Not getting any younger. And like, I want to go on bike rides, take my dog for walks, go to the park. Hang out with my second family, which is my best friend's family. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Sika. Hey, Miles. They tune in religiously, have always supported my channel. I definitely appreciate it. Always and forever. Yeah, get to spend a lot more time with them, which is super duper cool. That's how we're looking. Okay, so let's just roll right into setting up. I have a new setting powder, y'all. Y'all know my favorite powder right now is the Huda Beauty powder from underneath my eyes. Can't lie to you. But my best friend insisted that I try the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal setting powder. And if it's going to focus for y'all. Yep. So when this powder first came out... <clears throat> I was not here for it because it only had like one shade and I was just like, ooh, child, no. It comes with one of these. 
which I'm not the biggest fan of, but since I don't have nails, I can open it. So I'm just going to tap some, like this is how it looks. I'm going to tap some, oh, 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 that was a lot. Oh dear. Oh, oh, and I just wasted some. I'm the clumsiest person ever. Well, yeah, my best friend was like, oh, this is such a smooth powder. I said, girl, we're going to see, because who the taking the cake right now? A lot of people don't like her either, but it's like, y'all just, I feel like people just love to not like people. It's so much easier just to like be unproblematic than to be problematic. Like I just, there we go. Stay in my corner of YouTube, my very piece, small piece of a corner. I'm just your home girl down the corner, down the street that likes makeup. That's about it. I feel like this is mm -hmm. we don't see i don't trust any satin powder until after i put on my mac skin finish like we'll see that's how i bring that's how i bring my face together it's looking kind of but i think that's the <clears throat> i think that's the concealer looking a little yellow so uh we're gonna take the fenty uh what is this fenty beauty 170 satin brush. I'm going in with the MAC Dark Mineralized Skin Finish, tried and true. Yeah, I was trying to push that Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. No, ma'am. MAC is the GOAT for finishing satin powders, like for your whole face. The GOAT. I don't care what they tell you. This is it, period. Get the MAC. This is looking pretty smooth. The foundation is still a tinge too dark, like I'm not dark enough yet, but it does look super yellow, but I think that's the concealer. The concealer is super yellow, super golden. So I might have to mix that. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing that <clears throat> Makeup brands have a ton of shades to choose from, but people like me get confused. And I'll be writing a story looking at it, but it's hard, y'all. It is hard. So this is how we're looking. I'm not mad at it. Let's get in close. It's a little dark, but you know, it'll be all right. So what we're going to go in with next, honey, is the Hula Toasted Bronzer because caramel was too light for me, okay? And everybody knows Fenty does not, does not, Fenty does not have a color for moi. Definitely doesn't. None of those colors work for me. Just going to go in with this Wet n Wild Angle Brush. Let's see what Toasted is talking about. That's how we're looking. Little tap. Not gonna do too much bronzing because this foundation is already dark, honey. I'm not going anywhere today. I'm gonna probably film a few more, a couple more videos just so y'all have something while I'm in the process of getting settled in my new place, starting my new job, things of that nature. Ooh, you see that? Okay, bronze it up real quick. Okay, y'all gonna have to be careful with this. Because it bronze bronze. Ooh, oh jeez. Oh dear. That escalated quickly. Let's try to fix this. And I'm blending everything in. All right, so toasted definitely works. Um, I definitely like how it looks. It's going to be really perfect with the foundations right now that are actually the correct color. So I, I like this. I really do. I really do. What is next? Girl, I got a new blush to try too. People have been ranting and raving about the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blushes. This is the color Goya. These are like 22 bucks. 
got them um they're at Alta in store Sephora sells them too but um the thing about with Sephora you would have to order it online um let me go in with the real techniques blush brush thought that was appropriate Ooh, uh oh oh dear I don't really smile anymore, so it's weird for no blush. I don't, I'm not a smiler, especially with braces. Ooh, oh, ah, <laughs> uh, get the oh, oh dear, escalates a little quick. Ooh, I like, I like, I love it, I love it. Go over the top. Ooh, I like this, y'all. And people have been doing like the little hint of blush on the nose. Ooh. Oh, this smells wonderful. Oh, yeah. Yep. Go get them because they're selling out. Go go get them. Go get them. Oh, this is so amazing. Okay, I ain't been that excited about a product in a long time. So now we're going to go in with some Scandinavia Satin Spray. Okay. Tried and true. spray the whole face no we have spray and then you want to <laughs> then you want to fan fan the face and then after you fan the face press in the satin spray sis that's how you get your makeup to last you get those smile lines come through okay press it in you're welcome life hack keep fanning I need one of those fancy fans so I can be like, but yeah, you know. All right. So, oh, this is actually the look. I kind of like this. So, here we have it. Hmm. 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 Up close and personal. All right, let's move on to highlighter. This brush is the go-to. You need you need that brush. So, another new thing I have. Y'all remember when Puma collaborated with Mab Maybelline like four months ago? Yeah, y'all wasn't bothered by it either. So, <laughs> this is the Maybelline Puma collaboration. Y'all know I live for the Maybelline Chrome highlighters. This is the color Knockout. Oh, sis, does this have tape on it? Oh, no, I already opened it. Pre-opened. We'll go in with the Jeffree Star Morphe Collab um, highlighter brush. Let's do, a, do a one of these. It's so pretty. Oh, is it pink? Oh, I guess so. A little tap. Mm. I thought it was pink. It's gold? Uh-uh, what color is this? It's super glittery. I'll tell you that now. What? <clears throat> oh, it's a reflect chrome. So it looked pink, but it's actually like a gold color on me. Y'all know I'm not a fan of gold highlighters. I don't know what color this would be on our fairer friends. I don't know. Speaking of friends, y'all have to, it took me a while to get to this point, for sure. Surround yourself with friends that are true friends. Friends that make you happy. Friends that make you smile. Friends you can depend on. Friends, when they say phone a friend, you have one call. Who you gonna call? That's how your friends need to be. You need friends that are gonna uplift you, support you, be there, you know? We don't have time, and excuse my French in advance, for half-ass friends. Uh-uh, not in 2019. Get you some friends that are real friends. Let go of dead weight. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And don't feel like you need to apologize or explain yourself. This is your life. Um, I want to put on more setting spray because I don't know how I'm feeling about this.
Yeah. Ooh. Whoo. Catch that beam. Ooh. 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 Shining, 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 y'all. Oh, this went in. Okay. I like this. I like it. It's a vibe. So, what else do we need to do here? Uh, does this look me black eyeliner? Oh, I guess it does. Y'all know my tried and true LA Girl Glide Gel Eyeliners. Let me not. Just a little bit. Okay, that did make a difference. Beautiful. And then we are, yes we are, we are. I'm gonna go back into the palette, finish off the look. Need one of them slim brushes, slim, 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 one of these. I don't know, something about something. Let me hurry up, I think I recorded too long. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the orange right there just a little bit nothing too dramatic and then for the lips you're gonna go in with huge booty huge beauty lip contour and bombshell just a little bit just a little pink don't have to be perfect no I'm not one of those perfect lip liner kind of people and then we're gonna go in with auntie Pat sir minis this is auntie Pat in dare to bear go in with that mm-hmm look at that Look at that. Hey. All right, y'all. So this is the final look. I did go in with a little bit of pale, I mean, yeah, pale, felt, pale fire nectar gloss. Just right here at the top because it got like the shimmer in it. Auntie Pat is the goat with lip glosses, period, period. So here we go. Come in for the final look. So how we're looking. This is cute, y'all. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, being sick. This eyeshadow palette, it's work. Is it? If you have the time, it's definitely worth it. And I would definitely support Tammy any day of the week. She's a sweetheart. I will have her channel link down below as well as Sean's World because she reviewed this palette as well and sis told the truth per usual. So go and check her channel out. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, these buxom blushes. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen it. This is the best blush because y'all know I've been a tart Amazonian clay blush kind of girl. But these I need. There's like four of the colors. I need them. I need them all. Um, let's see. Hula. Toasted bronzer, yes, honey, yes, finally. I mean, I have the Anastasia bronzer, and I have, who else? Oh, Buxom, but now I have another one, another one. Um, The Too Faced Born This Way Setting Powder, it's smooth or whatever. It's a nice addition to my collection, I will say that. Is it my favorite? it's right underneath it so if i had to rank them for sure would be huda number one and then number two would be fancy and number three would be this powder right here and then right after that would be patch star matte powder okay um what else what else what else what else these pat mcgrath lip glosses are the goat i got the minis but 
I will be saving up to get some of the full sizes, even if they're $28. But, oh, they smell like vanilla. They're not, not sticky. Oh, look at this. Not sticky. I love it. Love it so much. Um, <clears throat> Huda Lip Liners or Lip Contours. Goat. Super goat. Um, Bobbi Brown Foundation. I'm liking so far. I like that it has SPF. A lot of big YouTubers swear by it, so I'm loving that. Fancy Concealer, I do like. I do think this one is a little too yellow, so I think I might mix it with my other one, and it should be cool or whatever. Um, the Revolution Canvas, I love. Um, I really like how it cut out things, even though my eyes was a little bit of a struggle. But yes, um, the Milk Makeup Hydro Primer. Just go by the full size. This just go by the full size. This is really, really good. Um, so yeah, that's all that I have for you guys. I'm so sorry I've been going so long. I know this was a long video. I know I'm gonna hear about it, but I really wanted to take some time and talk about some things, um, clear up any misconceptions, okay? Um, you know how lazy I do. I will come here and shut it down real quick. For people who think they know and don't know. But yeah, you heard it here first. Oh, I have a new tattoo, guys. Wait. <laughs> it's like in one of those odd spots. But it says love and it's a cross. Um, just something small. You already know I have this one. Next piece is going to be right here. I'll keep you posted on that. But yes, oh yes, in the Anastasia <laughs> brow gel i do love but you do got to be careful with it i didn't do the best job on my eyebrows today i usually do those first to frame my face i don't know why i did stuff out of order that's how you know i ain't filmed in a long time um this highlighter i will probably mix with something else but i do think it's really pretty i'm just not a fan of go highlighters on me y'all might think it look okay we'll see but other than that thank you guys so much for tuning in tuning in if i can learn to talk Thank you for rocking with your girl. Thank you for all the support. I see all your comments. I try to respond to all of y'all. Um, if you have a YouTube channel, definitely leave it down below so I can support you and we can be friends or whatever. Um, shout out, shout outs to Katrina. Shout out to Aaliyah. Shout out to Britt. All her information will be down below. Shout out to Bonnie. Hey, shout out to Sika and Miles. Shout out to my mama. Okay my favorite person on earth but yeah oh shout out to walking in high school i know y'all just graduated or whatever seen a lot of y'all um i know a lot of y'all watch my channel super shout out to y'all shout out to miss frierson love you girl see ya um definitely shout out to my whole bulldog gang gang appreciate y'all and without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here um i think i have some like some laundry or something to do girl who knows um it's kind of nice outside so we'll see um, thank you guys so much, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!